Woman Under the Influence is a 1974 film written and directed by John Cassavetes, starring Gina Rollins and Peter Falk. Over the course of the film, we are invited into the unconventional life of a working class couple. Grandma, where are you? Grandma, where are you? Grandma, where are you? Grandma, Grandma in bed. No, I'm going to make the coffee. In bed. No, you, you said you wanted it, but I'm going to make some now. Everybody oh, I, in bed. Come I just on. don't think I can. Uh, come on, Grandma, in bed. Well, I'll, everybody in bed. I'll, I'll, I'll just sit in there. Come on. Here comes Grandma. Here comes Grandma. What are you doing? Here's Grandma. Hi. All right. Hi, sweetheart. How are all of you? Mabel, played by Rollins, is warm and fun with her children, eccentric and charming with her husband, and overall prone to strange behavior. Hi. Hi. She is made uncomfortable by social situations. What's your name? And doesn't behave in a conventional manner around her husband's friends. This leads to tension and stress in their relationship. Get your ass down! Hey. Right! I was trying to be nice! Wacko! Like your friends. I know it. I'm a warm person. I was. I know that. I'm not one of those stiffs that you like. Their nose is up in the air. And boom, boom, with their nose is up in the air. Oh, 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 awfully nice. Oh, no. Thank you. Oh. I'm not going to treat those guys. I want them to feel. I love those guys. I love them. I love anybody who brings in a heart. I, I know that! I want him to feel comfortable. I want him to feel... They just sit there like a bunch of... I want to... What the hell are you talking about? You didn't do anything wrong. It was just the way he was looking. Sit down, Mabel. Sit down! Billy was Richard looking at you this way. Like the he do not know you don't do any harm. It's the way the guy looked at you. He's the guy. He's looking at you like this. He don't know what to do. This monkey don't know what to do. He thinks you mean something. He don't know you don't mean it. I don't mind you being lunatic. Ricky? Not lunatic. Ricky? I didn't do anything wrong. Don't be afraid to hurt my feelings. Tell me what you want me to be, how you want me to be. I can be that. I can be anything. You tell me, Nikki. Mabel's eccentricities build to the point of forgetfulness regarding time and obligations. Watch on. She lets her children run wild and doesn't consider social norms. Her erratic behavior causes her husband, Nick, to become convinced that she is a danger to herself and possibly others. After a disturbing altercation where Nick slaps Mabel, having admitted that he's never done anything like that before, he decides to send her to a mental health facility for six months, calling a family doctor to sedate her. This scene is full of troubling choices from both Nick and Mabel. Both are at a loss as to what to do. Nick is desperate to get his wife back, and Mabel is distrustful of his motives. They are both frightened and desperate to find a solution. 
Nick has left himself to take care of the children to mixed results. This piece of the film is particularly poignant due to the fact that it proves that even if someone has mental health issues, they can still be necessary in someone's life. Dig deep and get the... After arriving back from the mental health facility, Mabel is changed. Small and taciturn, she is welcomed by a group of people and quickly becomes overwhelmed. Nick realizes what's happened and takes her aside, encouraging her to let her personality out once again. I'm with you. There's nothing you can do wrong. There's nothing you can do wrong. I just want you to be yourself. This is your house. The hell with them. Up there. The hell with them. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Come on. He realizes that he loves her, eccentricities and all. However, after this encouragement, Mabel swings too hard the other way, and her behavior once again becomes a concern to Nick. Nick is left with the truth that if he is to love his wife to the best of his ability, he has to accept her whole self. Mabel, in return, realizes that if she is to love her family fully, she has to attempt to stay as stable as possible. Gina Rollins is staggering in this film. Balancing quirky charm with desperation, heartache, joy, and the deep desire to be loved. It's never revealed what specific diagnosis she has during the film, but many posit that she's having a manic episode and is bipolar. Her performance highlights not only the insanity, but also the kindness and sensitivity that many of those who have bipolar disorder and other mental health issues exhibit. This film paints a very kind portrait to those who live with mental illness, Though Mabel is difficult to deal with, she is never cruel and always gentle. Gina balances lightness with subtle moments of discomfort with herself. What's also made clear in her performance is the love she feels for her family. That it is this love that makes her feel betrayed by Nick's decision to have her committed. Peter Falk brings empathy to a character that could easily be unlikable. Nick's motivations are never unclear, nor is the love for his family. Give me another bad bad. <laughs> Give me a better bad bad. <laughs> oh, a real bad bad. Come on. This film is also generous to those who are living with people who have mental illnesses in their lives. That it is difficult to decide what to do that the decisions you make are often made out of love and are often complicated, that it's not easy to be loved and love those with mental health issues, that it takes resolve, dedication, and commitment to do so. This story is one that is propelled by love. It's a deeply complicated film, specifically due to the nature of Nick's reaction to Mabel's behavior, but overall, the film is hopeful and touching and it shows that those who have mental health issues can be good parents, fun, kind, and worth letting hey, into your life. Can I ask you kids a question about me? Can I? When you see me, you know, do you feel, oh, I know her, that's mom. Or do you ever think, I mean, do you ever think of me as, uh, as uh, dopey or mean or... or uh... No, you're smart, you're pretty. You're nervous too.